Hi, my name's Dan Mislowich. I'm a product manager with Epson's business printing team. In this video, I'll take you through the simple steps to customize the user interface of your Workforce Enterprise AM series model. First, we'll go through how to customize the home screen buttons. Access settings, general settings, edit home. From here, you're able to change the layout, add icons, remove icons, move icons, and so on. So we'll start with the layout. There's three options, style one, which you've just seen. Style two has larger icons. Go back to settings, general settings, basic settings, edit home, and we'll look at style three. Now you'll notice style three has the larger icons on the top with smaller icons on the bottom. You're also able to, within that same area, move around icons within Edit Home, moving icons, simply moving the scan button, for example. Select where you'd like to move it, moving the copy, moving the storage, simple click to move. Moving the Settings button to the main page, just to the right of Preset, go back to the home screen, and all of those changes have been incorporated. Next, we'll go through how to change the wallpaper on the home screen. Simply press Settings, General Settings, and then within the Basic Settings tab, you'll see the button Wallpaper. There's four options here, the Theme Color, Still, or Animated. Those three come standard with the device. There's also the JPEG Image in Memory Device option. So we're gonna select that, and we've uploaded simply with a USB into the device an image. Select that image, select close, back to the home screen, and you can see that image is now the wallpaper. However, you're going to want to move the buttons around to better be able to see the logo and the image in the background. So we go back to settings, general settings, edit home, and we're going to move icons. So I'm going to move some of these icons onto the second page. And we're going to move the settings to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Back to the home screen. Now you have your copy, scan, and storage settings, the visible logo, and then the settings button in the bottom right-hand corner. To access the icons put onto the second and third pages, intuitively swipe and access those additional screens. Next, we'll create presets and add them to the home screen. Enter a function screen, for example, copy. Select the settings that you would like. So let's say five copies. We'll have a uh, one-sided document that we'll copy and we want it to be two-sided. So we'll select one to two-sided and we will finish the document with a staple. So now those are a commonly used function. Perhaps it's for a Monday meeting. So you would select that little star there. That adds it as a preset and hit Save as Preset. Add New. And we will create a name for this. We'll call it Monday. So I'm just going to type in Monday and hit OK. And hit OK there and it's been added as one of the 50 available entries in your presets. Even easier, you can add the preset to your home screen. To do that, you simply go into Settings, General Settings, Edit Home, and then you're going to add an icon. And instead of adding a function icon, you're going to add a preset icon. There's your Monday preset. You can even select which uh, icon you'd like to add. We'll select that one there. It asks, do you want to set Quick Copy to on? What that'll do is once you press that icon, it'll automatically go without confirming the settings. We'll select yes. 
select where you'd like to add that item. We'll put it right under the copy screen. Now you can go back to the home screen and there's that Monday setting that you're able to access all of those settings within the copy function without resetting each individual setting each Monday for that meeting. It's that easy.